biologist, when I saw that first, I just thought it was pretty cool. I mean, for the first time, you could actually <laughs> see the neurons, not in the microscope, looking at them one at a time, but look at all of them working together. So, but now to, to check whether this really works, it doesn't help that we look at it a cortical column because the experiments were done on slices. So we had to create a virtual slice. And uh, so this is spontaneous activity. In a virtual slice, we stack the column and actually a thinner column because the slices that we use are 300 microns. The top and the bottom are dead because it's a slice. So we use approximately 200 and 60, 230 thick slices. And this is what spontaneous activity looks like in a slice. I'm only showing you a fraction of the cells because it's too dense. Later you'll see a more dense version, but you only see a fraction of cells. But it's still quite amazing to look at the interaction and see it. And you can analyze this now in so many different ways. This is a raster plot of all the different cells in the different layers. You can investigate any one of these. This is an example of electrical